Hi, I'm Phil Berman from Balanced Catamarans, and uh, what I'd like to do here in this short video is uh, give you a little idea of the boat that we've designed, the 451, uh, take you through a vessel walkthrough. Uh, the idea of Balanced Catamarans is to strike a balance between comfort and performance, and to produce cruising cats that offer the comforts and amenities uh, that people are looking for for live aboard, but also some nice performance both upwind and down. So right now we're in the main salon of the boat, and as you can see, we're doing beautiful furniture on the boat. It's all core, and uh, we've got a, a small nav station for keys and, and such, and then the chart plotter is overlaid onto the flat screen TV, and there's also a chart, chart plotter at the helm station. We are using Blue Sea electrical systems and a 24 volt DC boat, so it's extremely efficient. And up top we've got uh, 500 watts of solar on this particular boat along with uh, 70 amp 24 volt DC alternators on the two Volvo engines. If people like the Anmar, we can do that as well. Uh, walking across uh, to the galley, um, we had a recent redesign and we added a large uh, storage locker for dishes and such and more countertop space. We have a big deep single sink with the lift up faucet, lots of cabinetry and storage, a stove and oven, microwave. One of the nice things about this boat is the way in which you have a flow going out to the going out out back. And we have excellent ventilation. So if you look across here, we have tempered aircraft glass windows and a large opening hatch that we have custom made for us in Australia and also a large opening Lumar hatch. When the air is flowing through these two hatches and back out through this opening space you're always cool and comfortable. A lot of people ask me about the windows on the catamaran and, and why we're using tempered glass uh, aircraft windows. The reason for that is that they're, um, they're set up for sun protection they offer you a much clearer vision, and in my experience, Lexan windows over time crack, craze, and yellow, and eventually, every six or seven years, you end up with a very costly job to redo all the salon windows. So we elected to go with these really high quality aircraft glass windows on the boat. One of the nice things for us about building a boat in China is we have access to some of the best furniture making in the world. And in the area where we build our boats is actually the furniture district of southern China. So we are able to procure CNC routed foam core furniture that is extremely light and built to a very high standard. We can do the finishes in a gloss, a satin or a flat and we can uh, give our customers a choice of four different woods. So we've done these boats in uh, three different woods already. This is hull number three and hull number four will likely be done in a different wood. If you look at the salon table and zone in, this is an inlaid um, star. This kind of level of workmanship is uh, seldom found in countries with uh, extraordinarily high labor uh, rates and overhead costs. Um, there's a lot of cabinetry on the boat as well because when you're a cruising sailor, you're going to need places to store things. So we have several drawers in the galley, pantries, closets. Um, we're really proud of the, uh, of the woodwork and cabinetry on the boat. We feel it sets us apart from our competitors in terms of the quality and richness of the boat. We have a, a, a freezer and a fridge combination here. And as I walk down into the uh, owner's hull, we built a pantry immediately aft. And in this large pantry, we have a space for a washer dryer or an extra freezer if people want it, and shelving throughout, shelving here, shelving here. So all the condiments for the kitchen, all your storage, boxes, etc. You really couldn't find more storage on a performance cruising cat. We designed a really large shower that uh, two people can shower in and sit in a bench. Um, it's filled with light because it has an overhead hatch and also a side hatch. And it's uh, all fiberglass so it can get wet. We 
have our water heater uh, behind here in a locker. And then here we have a large linen closet. Coming out, coming forward, I'm sorry, coming forward, we have a queen size bed with landings on either side. Some people opt to have uh, fans and air conditioning. Other people will put a large opening window there that opens up so that an anchor you can lift up the forward hatch and air just comes blowing through the boat. Regardless of whether it's raining, you will still have lots of airflow. In this forward space here, we, it's very much a customer's choice. Some people want this made as an office. Other people want it with um, hanging. So he's got this uh, particular person wanted us to make this with a lot of hanging space. And then there's another cabin here, um, uh, a cabinet here, large cabinet. Um, and he chose this fabric. Our boats are very much custom, so people have a lot of choice of woodwork finishes. Um, this is American Sherry, which was done in a gloss finish. We can uh, do three or four different types of wood. It can be done in either a satin or a gloss. Same with the flooring. Uh, in this particular boat, we have American Cherry flooring, which is uh, called Sea Floor. It's actually a synthetic material, but it looks fantastic and it's easily repaired if damaged and uh, water resistant. So uh, coming back amidships, here we have provisions for ventilation for air conditioning units. And the whole boat has uh, LED lighting throughout. Walking across to the uh, port side, down the stairs. Immediately aft, This particular owner, instead of having this be a queen uh, suite, wanted a single and cabinetry and storage up and below and a little office with a chair. And in this space here, we put the generator, small 4.5 kW generator, takes care of everything on this boat. We have it wired and plumbed for the generator, but it's not installed at this time. As I walk back forward, Again, amidships, we have a lot of storage and pantry space on both sides of the boat. In this particular cabinet, we have our electrical, you can see our electrical systems design and paneling. It's all very, very well done. Um, they're shielded with a clear um, piece of plastic to uh, protect people from accidental shock. We're using um, Victron inverter charger systems on the boat. And then as we walk aft, I mean forward again, I'm sorry, walk forward, we have cabinetry amidships again, air conditioning provisions below. A large hanging locker again, amidships. And we enter into a queen suite, which is identical to the suite in the starboard owner's hall, the guest suite. And forward of that, we have a combination uh, shower and toilet, so people can come down at night and use that. Again, all LED lighting throughout. We have. Um, sockets which can be done either in European or uh, US style with ground fault protection. Show you an example of the lighting. Nice reading lights so you can sit up in bed and read at night. You can put your books on either side, have, uh, have a glass of juice on either side of the bed. It's very comfortable. Now, a lot of people ask, well, how is the Balance 451 catamaran constructed? So, this boat is basically made in a female mold, and we have two large molds. The one large mold is the hulls and the underbridge, and then there's a large deck mold. We build both molds separately, and they are uh, done in what's called resin infusion. So we use a foam core material, and we infuse resin at the same time that we're vacuum bagging the boat. And we're using vinyl ester resins because uh, experience has found that uh, vinyl ester is 
pretty darn close to impervious to water incursion over a very long period of time. All the bulkheads in the boat, the structural bulkheads, are also of foam core with carbon fiber stringers in them. And in the high load areas of the boat, around the chain plates and any of the corner edges where there's going to be high structural loads, so we use uh, carbon fiber. So this mixing of carbon fiber, e-glass, vinyl to resin, and infusion process with foam coring is really pretty much the lightest way you can build a strong production catamaran with a gel coat finish. Uh, we're really pleased with uh, how that uh, material works and we've also engineered the boat to ABS offshore racing standards and German Escher Lloyds so it exceeds ISO 9000 standards. The boat was essentially designed to be sailed if required in the rigors of the Southern Ocean or the Northern Ocean uh, because Roger Hill, the designer, lives in New Zealand and he feels that a boat is going to have to take it on the chops once in a while and you need to engineer it to do that. So uh, we're very proud of the construction of the boat and the uh, structural integrity, all of which was engineered in New Zealand.